Hello! In this video tutorial, we'll see how to list and link all sheets in Excel using VBA macros. I have a file here with several worksheets. Um, here we have the summary report, product description, orders, and so on. And we want to have a new sheet with a list of all the worksheets in this workbook. In this case, there are only four, but we could have many more, and it would be difficult to navigate. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and insert a new module. And here we'll have a new macro, and we'll call it List and Link Sheets. The first thing we'll do here is to declare some variables, and I'm going to declare a worksheet variable, so an object variable to hold a worksheet while we are looping through each of those. And then um, R, that stands for row, as an integer, and it's going to hold a row, row number. Now here we want, first of all, to add our new um, worksheet, and we're going to call it list. When we add a new worksheet, this worksheet becomes the active sheet. Okay? Now, we are going to loop now through each other worksheet in the workbook. So for each WS in the workbook, in the worksheets collection, we want to make sure we do not loop through the list sheet, which is the one we just created here. So if WS name is not list, then um, here we are going to introduce the row number counter and in the first row of column A we will write the name of the worksheet. Okay? So, well, actually this loop will loop through all worksheets, including the list worksheet. But when, when it loops through the list, we don't want to add that one because that, that one is the main uh, index. So when, when it's not the list, then we get the value, uh, we, we, we get the name here, and we add it to the column A. <clears throat> and now we also want to add a link to that sheet. So when we are in the list new sheet, worksheet, we can actually uh, click and navigate to, to, to the specific worksheet, right? So we do that with, um, it's going to be in the same location, of course. And we do that with hyperlinks add. And here you see the arguments for hyperlinks. The first one is the an anchor. Um, let's, let's write it like that, anchor. And the anchor is exactly going to be that location, right? So column A, row R. And then, let, let me continue down here. As you see, then we have to add the address and sub-address. So in this case, the address is actually nothing. Um, address is only used for external links, so for example, a website, right? But here, we are, we are going to link to some internal uh, components, so in this case, uh, worksheets. So then, we just need the sub address and the sub address is going to be oops it's going to be the ws name so the worksheet name and the uh, range a1 as a reference so here we can end this condition and we can actually close the loop so here we go. That's our macro. And let's run it to see how it works. 
there we go. It created a new worksheet called list with the list of all the worksheets. And if we click those, we can navigate to each of them, of them here. So that's how we list and link all sheets in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.